Schmidt. I go to school here at SAIC. This is my second year here. I don't really have a name for it or anything quite yet. It kind of spawned out of my uh, fascination with Letitia Sonomi. She was here and she demonstrated her ladies glove and I just wanted to make one myself and so the excuse came up in class. I started out with the Nintendo Power Glove and ended up finding my own Ben sensors and pretty much throwing everything else away. But yeah, it's a glove with five bend sensors on it. Bend or flex sensors, basically it's, um, you send a voltage through it and the resistance of the, uh, this uh, sensor changes as it bends. So as I bend it, the resistance goes lower or higher, so whatever. My numbers go down. So I have five of those, one on each finger here. And I have two photo cells on the, the glove. Originally, I started off with a friend of mine had an old Nintendo Power Glove, and I started messing around with that just to explore it because I had heard that it had bend sensors in it. And so I started with those, and the glove itself is kind of this huge intimidating thing, and it was funky and kind of hard to work with, so I ended up just um, scrapping it and finding my own glove and finding my own. I, I got new bend sensors because a couple of them were burnt out on it. And then I just have a box here that I built with a series of switches so I have control for other parameters and things. And I had it around and I needed a housing to hold the boards and stuff and it just fit and then there was this ridiculous design on the inside of it so I just had to use that and like highlight it. So yeah, I have this set up so that these three switches here control one of these different sets. When I turn this switch on, now my glove is controlling this bank of uh, samples here. When I was putting together the box, there's a little bit of finagling and trying to get all the wires and everything to work right, make sure I don't have any things uh, cross-wired or having weird problems like that. We had a workshop with the uh, Art Bus, which is a really cool uh, interface, uh, microcontroller interface that's been developed at the school. It doesn't have an actual computing brain on it. Everything runs through a computer or something else. It's really simple to use for interfacing, and um, it, it has a lot of ability to expand, and I can just plug in more boards and have more slots for sending and receiving signals and just doing fancy things like that. For this particular project, I actually have two patches running here. One is a setup I built for uh, actually receiving and routing all the signals to the proper places, because there's a few bugs in the hardware. And so um, this is my way of working around that, so I can make sure everything's going where it's supposed to. It's a granular synthesis setup, and I have a individual control over, what do I have going on here? I have basically two sets, uh, two pairs of uh, sample players that are playing a preloaded sample. And then my, finger, my fingers are controlling, I have control over each individual uh, uh, play speed, uh, the pitch, and the um, volume control is on my thumb. I got my hands on this, bought the uh, art buses in class for this workshop, and so for a couple of days there, I was sitting around trying to figure out an excuse to um, keep it because they have this deal with the school. As long as I make something that's cool enough, I guess they'll allow me to keep it and use it as an actual like piece of art or something. And so I was sitting around thinking for a while, and then I was just like, you know, screw it. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and so I did it. <laughs> Well, the biggest obstacle was really once I built the thing was I was sitting there like trying to figure out a patch that was really interesting and fun to play with. It was like I have all these controls and then it's like thinking about what you want them to do. I really wanted to have a setup so that I can record in live audio to the buffers so I can sample from a performance and manipulate it. 
I mean, uh, that would probably be the most possible way that I could do this in a real band setting or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> It was a big relief when everything got together. I guess the surprise was like, once I got it working, how cool and how uh, interesting it was to have a tactile control like this over a patch. And it's a totally different experience than like just sitting there twisting knobs. Probably, I'd like to make things a little clearer, uh, probably build a better glove that has a bit more uh, connection or maybe build multiple bend sensors so that I could get articulation for all my joints and my fingers. Uh, on the hardware end of it, if I'm able to actually keep these uh, microcontrollers that are in it, I would like to actually solder all the pins in, or all the wires and everything, because right now they're just kind of plugged in there and praying that I don't shake it too hard and things go loose. That's why nothing's actually glued together. I could take this apart right now if I wanted to. I want it so that I can just like ignore the, the laptop at all, just have it hidden away. I think that's the big thing in the sound department, it seems, is especially in like the Max MSP plat class, is like trying to hide the computer. It's so much more magical when you're just waving your hand. You have no idea why it's doing what it's doing. <laughs> I'm just doing this out here because of the lights, the photo sensors. I can hide the light. Um, right now I'm just messing around with uh, one of my sets of samples, slowing down the pitch and the speed real low. And then from here, I'll just start <laughs> just messing around with things, bending my fingers more or less until I hear something that sounds good. I really like the sound in the art and tech departments at SAIC. They're a lot more like, they're brand new, kind of it feels like. There's a lot more like vibrant energy and it's a little bit more chill too compared to some of the more traditional classes that you can take at the school.